You are watching the praise mix na hope unazidi kubarikiwa uh, kuanzia pale 7 until now. Uh, najua umeza kubarikiwa na maubiri kutoka kwa uh, naitwa Brother Mash. Ameko hapa hivi kumesha sure that the minister in a dope way and it's full of reality so make sure that uko pale nyumbani pia kama uli hata that uh, that ka segment na unajiuliza maswali mengi sana uh, the right time ambayo unafaa kuchukua kalamu na karatasi na kujua eh hey, wazee you gonna get those uh, tips hapa na pale because i'm joined by beautiful ladies in the building watakuwa wanakutumbia ni kina nani wanatoka wapi wanajihusisha na nini and kuguzia uh, tukia uh, before ni dive into that conversation na wao the praise uh, the blessed one the blessed one is a segment whereby uh, we tackle different topics and uh, it's a season ambao tumekuwa kwa topical kidogo hapa na pale and, thing, and I think this is the last month on topical and then we go to testimony so prepare yourself so that at the end of the day himwezi siwezi iwezi kakuja kakupita that way without you learning from one two three things and then tukwa nangalea recap show me kuwa aje how, uh, the, how what are those shows uh, episode ambao leza kustand out uh, uh, throughout the season sindio so hata ninge tu directly kwa wao na jua muda umeenda tu sana nimeiba time yao lakini amna um, tatizo au sio karibu ni sana thank you mko wazima yes wow wazima mtoka saluti jana nini acha kanywele jo thank you mko kwa kabisa so karibu ni on the praise mix uh, this is the blessed one uh, tunafurahia kuwa na nyinyi hapa hivi Mm. and ajua mko loaded na the word uh, ya god yeah. si ndio mm. so tuanze tu kwa na jo watu nakutazama hapa mara ya kwanza unashanga eh hey, hawa supu wanatoka wapi kuna wale pia wako loaded namba za simu okay hiyo baadaye <laughs> chizo baadaye si ndio yeah. so acha acha tuanze tu uh, tuanze uh, from that corner yeah. tuambie unaitwa nani unajihusisha na nini na unatoka wapi right. yeah uh, praise God. Amen. I'm um, Sharon from Holy Gate of Heaven Church Ministry. And uh, I'm a young lady just grown in this uh, small world called Kenya, our would like say country. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm blessed to be here. First, I'd like to, uh, to appreciate the, um, the team in West TV. Mm -hmm. Thank you for uh, giving us the moment and the time to be here. I'm glad to be here and I thank God. I'm a, a young lady just brought in different places. Mm -hmm. I I was born in Makueni County mm -hmm. and uh, I grew up like about 12 years in Makueni mm -hmm. then I came to Bungoma. Uh, Bungoma ndio most and me spend a lot of time and mm -hmm. uh, nimesoma Bungoma from high school to college and uh, yeah, God is doing well in my life and mm -hmm. I thank him. So mm -hmm. primary ilikuwa makoeni? Yes, primary ilikuwa makoeni from that is nursery to mm -hmm. class 8. What is that one thing ambayo makoeni na bungoma wana share in common? In common? Yeah. Uh-huh. First I'll say that uh, it's a county just <laughs> like bungoma. <laughs> Uh, so uh, there's a, a, a some difference. The differences are the main mm -hmm. main of it. But uh, maybe kupanda mindi is one of the common thing mm -hmm. with Bungoma land. Mm -hmm. And another thing, ni, uh, uh, let's say to farming, farming, is just the common thing with Bungoma. Wow. Yeah. Hey, Mwezo kwa kilisha vizuri sana. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Wow, wacha tukuje kwa hey, sawa. Siji ni right ama ni wapi? Uh, watu wa home tatuambia. So right here sasa TV ni tofauti. So uh, acha nikuje kwa uh, uh, karibu na mimi hapa hivi. Ah uh, mimi tuambie unaitwa nani? Unashughulishia na nini? Nao wamesema wanatoka kwa kweni. Wow. So wacha tusikie kutoka kwako. Oh, uh, hi. My name is Yvonne uh -huh. Hope. Mhm. Uh -huh. Uh, I'm a student, but I'm almost clearing. Mm -hmm. Right now, I'm supposed to be doing my attachment. Mm -hmm. I'm studying in Kiriri University. Mm -hmm. I'm taking procurement. Procurement. Yes, and uh, uh, I was born. I was born in Homa Bay. Eh, wow. <laughs> yeah. New, new what any visitors? <laughs> okay, so uh, mm -hmm. I stayed there for a while. Of course, I grew up there, studied there in primary. I love you. In high school, I went to Kaimosi Girls in Vihiga County. Yes, then we moved to Bungoma. Yeah, but I studied in Nairobi also. Wow. Uh, the thing about Nairobi, Manashi, and Bungoma, what is that different thing 
ambayo because nimeuliza the same ni the same uh, uh, vitu ambavyo makoweni county wanashia na bungoma mm. and uh, now what is that different thing yenye unapata bungoma and mm. it is awesome on your side but in Nairobi iko Nairobi you're like hapana uh, uh, people traffic mm. you know in bungoma we have a lot of space to walk you can even run on the road sides but in Nairobi it's quite difficult Wow. Yeah, so, <laughs> mm. Even acha this kind of figure the same line in figure. Yeah. Ukisema traffic uh. what do you mean? Because ni wakati transport inapanda ama just traffic <laughs> na, na makelele. Uh, people traffic ni watu wana jako barabara mm. kwanza you know when I'm heading to my school mm. there is a junction apo Gidurai 45. Mm. I have to pass through there. Yeah. Na sasa watu wamejaa hapo unaona? watu wako wengi hata kushinda gari people traffic ni worse than traffic ya gari that's what i mean wow na na by then inaambiwa kwamba uh, Nairobi is the, the only can the only county wase wako na pace na na mkafu hivi watu wako 120 uko <laughs> 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 90 hey. wow ah acha kuje kidogo because uh, anatumai mweza ku understand uh, Sharo na Ivona hapo yeah. hivi from all uh, kutoka Holy Gates of Heaven mm -hmm. na ukiangalia shati zao zimeandikwa incredible youth mm -hmm. na tutakuwa natuambia incredible youth na ina ni nini ambayo iko kwa incredible youth na what is, what is, what is that thing ambayo ina stand out from that ka, ka, ka program pale church ito kwa vizuri sana maybe the families ah uh, tukianza na Sharo mm -hmm. which family una represent all right um I'm a second born mm -hmm. in my family mm -hmm. and uh, I come from a family of eight, eight. people mm -hmm. that is uh, my mother and my mom and mm -hmm. I six mm -hmm. siblings mm -hmm. yes and uh, I thank God I was almost about to be a first born but I came in as a second born mm. yeah Ujai ka chini kwa nia first born hivi. Mzee ulinitangulia, ulinivatake. Ah ah, in fact I really appreciate God because the responsibilities they are very tough. I can't handle them. So I, I really thank God kwa kunileta kwa second born because there are some things I'm learning as a second born. Yeah. I'm Jake Lash na first born. Of course is must because uh, you know this rival rival what siblings, the rival is about siblings. I say and um kwanza mimi i was worse because it was like my first born and then mwenye ananifuata so ni kwa katikati so my parents could think that i'm the the worst one here because maybe na korofishana na ule mkubwa ate na nyuma pia huko sana kama mimi ndo nina shida but yeah is there we balance to your scale we balance to yeah acha tukuje kwa hivyo hivyo una present which family ah i represent the akolos family Colors for yes, I'm the first born Jesus. in my family. So I'm Jay Clash na Sharu. No. She, she's the second born. No, because I'm I'm the mature one, so we okay. cannot clash. Wow. <laughs> Hands down. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. Come from a family of 3. 3? Mm -hmm. yeah. How yeah. what uh, what is that experience that you have been able to learn uh, yeah. now being a first born? Uh actually I've had to take up a lot of responsibilities as a first born. Yes, I've had to learn to be a mother, equally a big sister and equally a cool sister. Yes, it's been quite an experience. Mm -hmm. Okay, you being a firstborn and uh, there is a lastborn. Mm -hmm. Now that you are coming from a family of three, uh, you have uh, two other siblings. Mm -hmm. The last one. Ona mwando likivipi because okay kuna ile upendo wa mama na na wazazi to the last born and then you are the first born na ukikuja kwako ukaeleza eh wait wait unajua ni mama ananipenda so mimi hapa lazima tu nicheze vile nataka because ninapendwa na mama and you are first born like hapana whatever you're doing is wrong how do you handle the last born actually being that he's a boy it's tough wow yes because you know Uh, he's a mama's boy definitely because he's a last born mm -hmm. and there are some things he does and anaona ni kama mama atanitetea and obviously mama anamtetea mm -hmm. so sometimes i just have to be the disciplinarian in the house because mm -hmm. you let him have his way eh kutaribika 
Wow. Na joma boys pale nyumbani you like fast food wako maybe she's a lady and then you are like mwanzo inataka hewa nataka sound unajua wakati unasikiza muziki na ufa you like and then you are like hapana mimi sitaki hizi makelele so we have to tulia and be sure to all the fast bones second bone and wale ambao wanacheza the last uh, position the last one na wapenda tu sana sio hiyo yeah. acha tukuje kwa school life because uh, yeah. ono tuka university uh, and then uh, uh, Sharon pia yuko pale pale so what is that thing that you been able to uh, to dive into the universities to the level education that you are in to, uh, right now and now christianity wow tuanze na nani tuanze na Sharon je mko naanza most of the time <laughs> okay okay yeah uh la, a university life mm. is a very good one a uh, free life indeed kule ndio kuna freedom and uh, uh, about university life more so if you are not born again when racist are not to be swept away by the yeah. things of, of the world uh one thing ilinisaidia as a young lady and a, a born again christian is because is because nilimjua Mungu while i was still young my parents wali nilelea kwa ile ile background ya ukristo nili toka tu as nilizaliwa nikijua church uh now apart being a uh, kujua church nilikuja kwa born again after class 8 ndio nikaanza kujua the the about christianity and salvation so life in university nilisaidika sana because i knew god mm-hmm. and i usually every time ni kwa put to god first kwa sababu yeah. in this world um you can't do without god wakati tunasema ati ni kwa mawazo yangu mimi mwenyewe nitajitetea ama nitajisaidia you are just lying to yourself uh, kwa sababu university you find that kuna challenges mingi mzo as a young lady ndio unapata pale at hiyo wakati ndio unaanza kuonekana na hiyo side nyingine mm-hmm. as in you are like uh <laughs> and everyone to nataka kulichuna so um god alinipa wisdom na alinipa um a way to to overtake that as as to overcome that uh, about education kule as i have said before ni freedom and it's up to you to understand the purpose in nimekupeleka pale kwa sababu ukienda na ile uh, kwa na urafiki ama ile watu wanafanya ama just to do like vile nimeona marafiki zangu wakifanya you'll mess up and you'll mess up uh, with your life totally so i really thank god because um uh, god alinisaidia sana he helped me to overcome some, t- some temptations and also to at least to achieve part of my education and i know inanipeleka mbali mm. because of that commitment Okay, uh, we're talking about youths. Yeah. Now one of the challenge a boy may in a face my youth upper out mm-hmm. is peer pressure. Yeah. And you are talking about being saved mm-hmm. and being the same same university mm-hmm. whereby in a beba kila mtu. Yes. It's not a Christian university. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, who may handle large the peer pressure mm-hmm. and uh, getting yourself in, the, in a, to keep your faith going mm-hmm. so that you can home you still blend with church in mm-hmm. a dog way yeah. and then it's because you are just okay I'm in a cool place and I'm mm-hmm. still serving God on this despite the peer pressure and you kuna watu wamekuja kukwambia ni aje share of never flow this way yeah, 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 <laughs> so how did right. you home handle large <laughs> first mimi nilielewa penye natoka mm-hmm. uh, natoka from, from a very humble background whereby I was not comfortable with what I was brought with mm. na nilitaka pia to reach a point whereby nataka kuleta my family to a point where I'm, comfort, I'm comfortable with kwa sababu wakati mwingi kama youth tunapata uh, wakati una unalelewa kwa background yenye maybe with in quote poverty mm-hmm. unataka nao kama msichana unaanza unaanza kufikiria just about nataka mwanaume mwenye ataniokoa kwa hii familia unaona yeah. instead of kufikiria nataka vile god atanisaidia nisaidie hii familia pia nao ikuwe lifted itoke kwa hiyo maskini mm-hmm. so mimi nilienda shule with that mentality of i want to save my family and nataka kuitoa kwa ile umaskini kuileta kwa life yenye mimi ni ina feel ndio iko comfortable mm-hmm. and that's why si kukua driven to the prayer pressure Yes, is ni very rais sana na pia kama uko strong unaweza ambiwa unajifanya pia wewe uta siji utaanguka tutakwacha tu hapo na hiyo kujifanya yako siji na hiyo kokoka yako but it takes faith. Okay. It takes faith na kujiamini na kujiunderstand wewe ni nani. Kwa sababu um ningekuwa ni hilo nini ya kubeba eh 
na baki nyuma sana watu wanaenda mbele because in that moment watu wanaonekana au au wenye wanaenda na hizo mapia pressure ndio wamechanuka unaona na ni wamechanuka so wewe bado uko na uko na ushamba yes nilikubali kuitwa yao majina mshamba nilikubali kuambiwa sijachanuka but i knew what i was targeting wow yeah wow. Wow. yeah mm -hmm. chatu kuje kwa ivona hapa hivi uh, now ivona Yes. Being in Kachuo now that we have karibu na kamilisha huko kwa attachment season. Mm. Uh, what is that challenge? Mm. Now before even we dive into that challenge. We binafsi ulipata na God in which sector? Uh, I got born again while I was still in high school. Mm. Actually from one. Mm. In the last term I went home and there was a conference mm. and I got born again. Yes, that's where I began Akuna my journey. kitu happen. Journey. Like, okay, you a hardship somewhere, and then you're like, apana. For this one, mm. it's a Jesus that you're <laughs> Not really, but mm -hmm. uh, growing up, mm -hmm. before I received Jesus, before I confessed Jesus, uh, I, I was brought up in church also. So I used to go to church. I used to follow my parents to church, mm -hmm. attend Sunday school. Then I received now the understanding while I was in Form 1. Actually, what really drove me was the desire, the desire to receive the Holy Spirit. Because I could see my fellow youths, you know, ministering. They have uh, departments they are working in in church. Some of them speaking in tongues. And I'm just there. I'm just a church goer, you know. In, in as much as I was born in church, I was not yet born again. I had not confessed the Lord Jesus. Mm -hmm. So that's when I, I, I got the desire and I understood mm -hmm. that uh, for me to receive the Holy Spirit, I have to confess Jesus with my mouth. Wow. Yes. Wow. Wow. Now comparing the life that uh, you have been with Jesus and the life that you may go without Jesus, mm -hmm. uh, which one is the best? The life with, with Jesus, definitely. Okay. Now the, you may say about the life with Jesus. Mm -hmm. uh, my faith. This one I can really attest to. Mm. Yes. My faith really grew in some way I did not understand. Actually, in my first days of, of salvation, that's when I really believed that you can actually pray. And as the Bible says, that whatever you pray for, whatever you ask for in prayer, believe that you have received it and you shall have it. Because it used to work. I could pray and literally see results my life became more easier being that i also did not come from a quite a quote unquote a very good family the life there was not so easy mm -hmm. but after i received jesus i had the peace i received the peace to accept my family as it was to still work through it go to school mm, that's uh, it. now that uh, you two you are talking about receiving jesus mm -hmm. and uh, now you've been operating alone and then coming to the point whereby you understand now uh ku receive jesus ni nini na what jesus anazafanya kwa life yenu mm -hmm. maybe in that kasako that you are in today umetumia that uh ku receive jesus ku influence uh, your people your friends kivipi na mimi kuna added advantage ama mimi kwa tu okay it's a personal thing let me move with it mm -hmm. it was in a shallow okay receiving jesus kuna a lot of benefits mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, most is not about you personal mm -hmm. it's about even the people who are surrounding you yeah, yeah me i'd say this um for me being born again kwa hiyo tu yani kutambua god na kuelewa how he works and his power it really uh, is in, indeed a testimony because i can say this when i finished my class 8 uh, god came through for me uh, kuna vile my, my parents hawakuwa able to raise up money kunipeleka high school but uh, kwa ile akili ya childhood i could say because based in a vile village uh, villagers vile walikuwa wanaongea sijua nasema tutakuwa andika tu kwa media yetu naona na they come face to face but i just feel scared to assist and kasema never will i work for any man at mm -hmm. in, in name of maid mm -hmm. and with that ka small faith in kwa because hiyo wakati sikuwa nimeokoka vizuri but nilikuwa naamini god what do you mean by kokoka vizuri as in nilikuwa sikuwa nimejua mungu vizuri but i knew kuna god mwenye wana inua watu naona kuna ile tu wakati bado hujaokoka kuna vile una operate tu kwa kwa atmosphere iko tu naona faith yako bado ijaraise to higher things naona so 
acha tuonge tu kweli yeah. umaili nda charge because yeah. uh, una, una ni kama ni kama una dipa do, do for you to get a supper whether whereby you are in a family mm. uh, dad and mama mesema ni aje in this house these mm. are the rules mm. so for you to kula supper hapa hivi mm. ama ni kupatie other stuff clothes mm. whatever mm. basic needs you have to attend church but your heart is not really into church okay yeah umaji jipata kwa hiyo situation ah uh-uh. in real life miss je jipata kwa hiyo situation kwa sababu mm-hmm. my parents hawakuwa hiyo at strict sana lazima uende church mm-hmm. kwenda church ilikuwa wewe mwenyewe ukitaka uende usipotaka naweza kaa nyumbani but hakuna mwenye ataku question because even my parents hawakuwa that much in Christ pia wao mm-hmm. but walikuwa wanaenda in church so my mom mm-hmm. was uh, a bit strict mm-hmm. but unajua sasa kusema ni baba mm-hmm sababu akisema amwendi kwa ile kanisa because the people who are telling us what atuandika kwa maid they are the one who are in the church so alikuwa anasema kama hapo penye unaenda ndio penye maadui wangu wako why should you go there you know mm-hmm. so kwenda church ilikuwa your choice but ye yeah, mosi alikuwa anataka akutaka uende church so after class 8 um mm-hmm. nikaka nje like two years wow. yes two years nika nje still trusting god and then kwa tuna imani kwa one day nitaenda high school nitaenda college na nitamaliza kusoma so ilifika uh, wakati nikaanza kuambia Mungu i just want you to make a way that nitoke tu kwa hii background kwanza nitoke tu kwa hii hii village that was my desire and i really asked nikauliza god um then i kukaa sana from nowhere my aunt akapiga simu anataka niende that the aunt na I'm stay with here mm-hmm. uh, ni anataka nikuje Bungoma nikuje kuishi na yeye mm-hmm. yani i did really so god because it's my hand mm-hmm. no yani mm-hmm. nilito nisha already nishataka kwa ile scenario ya yani takuwa media watu unaona mm-hmm. sasa nakuja kwa aunt yangu yeah. see it's my family member mm-hmm. so pale ni kama tu another home for me so i really i really thank to god and now when i come huko hata sikwa ni lemma and now i can go to school nikakuwa comfortable sasa si god amenitoa kwa ile background and si kutaka kukaa unaona so wakati nika bungoma nika with my aunt i was very obedient i could just do as she wants so long as she was so god she kwa pia a born again woman and even her husband and i really thank to god because walinilia kama mtoto wao at that a point hawakuwa na watoto so i was like their baby so i really enjoyed the life and ikafika wakati wakanipeleka shule and now i'm here bado na soma i really thank god so at least i can see the work of god in my life mm-hmm. it's because through your prayers na nini yeah. make sure that you be faithful to god yeah na Mungu anajibu maombi. So kwa pale nyumbani ya like mimi ni kijana yes. na feel nda serve God nikifika kitu 60 ndo naanza kwa serious na vitu ya God. Yeah. Juu, that is the trend. Yeah, <laughs> eh, hey, sasa napiga sharia huko hata alafu anasema okay, huko God nda mkumbuka ni kwa 50 60. Juu najua naenda naenda ku daddy. Nani shika? Ah, mm. uh, even. Yes. School life. High moment and low moment. Mm. Kwa kwa ni gani? Ah, uh, in high school my lowest moments was um well as i had said before mm-hmm. i did not come from a very good family, good family yeah. yes so some sometimes uh, we could have these troubles mm, probably my mom is not around my dad fails to send pocket money ama he fails to be as responsible as he should and you know as a lady you're in high school you have a lot of requirements you need you know you need a lot of things but but even uh, okay to just to that level uh, uh, maybe need a witness because most of the life, life experience zangu mimi napenda ku witness before ni seme uh, but kuna hii say ah uh, magalde na na, na na the fathers mm-hmm. kuna vile wana kuanga design yeah <laughs> place moja uh, now your dad i feel large now that you are uh, the first born mm-hmm. that one is the first thing Mm. And then kuangalia you are the you are the lady I don't know kama you are the only lady in the family <laughs> there's two of us <laughs> two of us um. wow so what nini ilikuwa ina happen in between so your dad your dad was like okay I can I cannot afford this mm. and what is that thing alikuwa na go through so that I easier can afford maybe to send that money that you need mm. uko shule I could say just some sort of financial struggle mm. which by the end of it God came through for us that is why I can always attest the work of faith because after i received jesus i could help my mom to pray and yeah we came out of it actually god provided it was financial struggle 
it was so hard yes that was one of my lowest moments in high school what is that car? Eh, hey, manzi nasema yenye hapa ni bila jasho, share share. Ani ka high moment. <laughs> well, uh, my entire high school life was fun mm -hmm. apart from the small challenges. Mm -hmm. Especially, mm -hmm. I love to say after I received Jesus. After I received Jesus. Yes. I had I just received a lot of peace. Mm -hmm. Well, in my high school we had so much cases, a lot of cases of uh, lesbianism, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, theft just youths behaving in very weird ways mm -hmm. but I thank God I'm very grateful that I came out of that school mm -hmm. but still stood in Christ wow. and even in, wh while I was in school mm -hmm. uh, at least someone could look at me and see a difference and could say hope now but I thank God mm -hmm. so those are one of the things I'm very proud of Wow, wow. Before even we dive into the topic of the day, remember that I'm hanging out with uh, incredible youths. Uh, if you hold guests of heaven, what is incredible youths? Thank you so much for tuning in. I just want to tune in to my name and Bali. Just to big up a few. Uh, kuna Festus and Asama, you got tune in. And then Kuna Meshak Davis. And then Kuna Anthony. Thank you so much. And then Juliet Nafola and Kuna Bali. If you Alan, then Amos. And then Kuna uh, Tebo, you got Bali. And then Kuna Kelly, Tanasha, you got Bali. If you Kuna Morris, Juma, Martin. Then Kuna J uh, Juliet again. And then Kuna Naitwa Nani. And Naitwa, Naitwa Nelly. And then Kuna Kibet. And then Kuna Jeremy. Thank you so much for tuning in. Keep your feedback coming. I'll be going through uh, as a uh, kindle na issue na itakuwa vizuri sana. Wacha tuingie kwa mada leo youth and purpose. Who is a youth? Sharon. <laughs> who is a youth? <laughs> okay, who is a youth? Mm -hmm. A youth is a um, is a boy or a girl when you ame ame grow from childhood to as uh, uh, age of um between childhood and adulthood. Mm -hmm. yeah, so youth ni ule mtu mwenye kwa po katikati. Okay, yeah, ni ule mtu wabado wakona nguvu, wako fresh. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lafu unajua kutusisa au kuna matini. Yeah, <laughs> kuna, kuna matini, ja, mm -hmm. ya, yeah, ya. Yeah. Okay, uh, acha ni kujia kwa Yvonne. Mm -hmm. Maybe the age, brackets, ya youth ni kani. Uh, <laughs> well, a youth is a young person. Mm -hmm. And as uh, it's, it's quite common, it's a cliche, mm -hmm. but uh, the they range between 35 years mm -hmm. and below. Mm -hmm. So this below, mm -hmm. I, I do not understand where the below <laughs> ends, but <laughs> yeah. up to 35, mm -hmm. I believe someone is still a youth. Why? At cliche, uh, <laughs> 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 The thing is that uh, a youth at uh, the age of 35 mm -hmm. and below. So I can't understand. But constitution of Kenya is from 18 to, to 35. Yeah. And what ukipata mutu, okay, I'm age 35. Mm -hmm. But kwa hati yake ya niye? Bada na aminye ni youth. Uyo tunamweka wapi? <laughs> youth at heart. Hmm? I think uyo unanini tu. Unam, juu besi, besi na mindi yake ya yeah, bada ajazeka. Mm -hmm. Haja kubali kuzeka. So, you just let him be where when yako wako sao. So, unamualau to operate kama youth? Yes. Kwa kile kitu kama youth? No, 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 no. You must go with by your age. Mm -hmm. Moso. Uh, when we're talking of... Um, Age, age group, mm -hmm. ama age, ya yeah, iyo, iyo ya blanket, ya yeah, being aged, ama ubado kwa young, mm -hmm. uh, kuna vitu so, tu, you just have to do, based in your, ako, ala, as in, kulingana na miaka yako. Mm -hmm. Kwa sababu, wezi kuwa mtu mwenye kwa above 18, mm -hmm. nuna ambie kama mtu mwenye, mtoto mwenye kwa 5 years, mm -hmm. pia at least you just have to allow your mind to grow, based into ya. Age. But uh, Sharon, kuna wale watu wanasema, okay, mimi nimepita yo age, but niko tuna love mm. kwa, kwa ma youth so that okay. I can be able, then of the day unapata, day in, day out, and mm -hmm. I hang out now. Mm -hmm. yeah, so. I think mtu kama huyo, mm -hmm. akona call to the young men, okay. ama young people. Mm -hmm. Maybe aneza consider that, because ana feel that anataka kukua man, mm -hmm. youth, sindio? Mm -hmm. I think he has a call a... Uh, Kwa wanarika, so you must uh, you must uh, deep inside. I uh, think inside, I uh, search in deep. Why am I so comfortable? Niko niko around youths. Mm -hmm. Yeah, in kwa kuna kitu God and attack us idea wanarika. Yes. Ah, uh, actually, kwa Ivon, ah, uh, you're talking about wanarika, and uh, apa yuvi nongele ma youths. Kuna vile youth pastor anaza mm -hmm. kuwa above thirty five. Ama lazima tu akwe kwa yu bracket. 
No, si lazima mm -hmm. because as Sharon amesema, he might have a calling. In as much as ako above 35 years, but he has a call for the youth. He has passion for the youth. So an, an, a youth pastor is a quarter to above 35. Mm. But you have a story in Mitandao, in Nepali, in Georgia, and you have a experience whereby Sisi can be done and say, Okay, kuna vile what I want to understand. Mm. Maybe what is that thing? Ka, kama, now that you have a bracket in my youth, mm -hmm. and you want to understand, poa, basing, by, basing on the ministers from different level. You, you are doing your own stuff, but at the end of the day, you have to Okay, he is not a way because CG uh, culture is not a way. What, what way to make sure that uh, as much as we do our stuff in a youth bracket, in our, in our, in our own way, it can be able to be wale uh, ambao kujuyetu waneza pia kutu understand in a dope way. Uh, okay, I'll say this. Um, I'll talk to the people who are above us. Wate kubeli ni kama wako akwa ipiti ya kwa youth kama sisi. Mm -hmm. wakati mwingine they want us to reason like them because already wa wako aged mm -hmm. and us we are kwa miaka yetu mm -hmm. bado youth. Kuna vitu maybe they cannot tell us the way they used to do them when they were youth. Mm -hmm. But we we'll learn because it was a mistake. Mm -hmm. Maybe it could be that's why they are wana kwa more strict mm -hmm. about us doing it. So ni vizuri pia wakuwa open to us. They tell us Yes, what you are doing is right, but what this other thing you are doing is not right. But tell us why. You cannot come and tell me, you know, Sharon, uh, you cannot be as no fungangi macho kenda church. No, no. No, no, no. Come and say, I'm a brother. At you, fungangi macho kenda church. Maybe you're a brother, I'm going to vision. And I'm going to go where to go, I want to. To gain, so now we are going to be in mawazo yaki, we are going to rika, sinio. But we visit people who are lazy. We are going to be cut as a key to, but we are going to be consequences zake na yes, ifo na we are important zake. Wow, what you are going to do, Ivon? Ah, you as a youth, Ivon. Umai pata, umai pata challenge kujarak na mtu mwenye kidogo alipita that bracket ama ni uh, yuko maybe anakushindia kitu uh, not kukushindia the age of bracket unesama 35 ne yako mm. maybe 40, 40, 45, 50 uh, yeah. you as a youth kuna ugumu gani umai pata kujarak with that person mm. well the biggest challenge has been uh, experiencing uh, not experiencing I'm sorry expressing mm. yourself to them mm. because Sometimes they tend not to understand, ama we tend not to understand their ways. Because you want to talk to someone, but he's already trying to discipline you. No, 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 you to explain, but tayari anakombia, you should not have done this, you should do this, you should do this. Awakuachi unaongea kama nani, you know. That's the biggest challenge. Now, such that uki, uki waona, mm -hmm. ata when you have something to say, it's very difficult. Mm -hmm. Because una, una imagine you will go, use, u, u try kusema kenya na, unataka, ataki kusikia unasema nini, anakuambia already the right way, which is not wrong. Mm -hmm. But sometimes the the kind of approach mm -hmm. eh, you have to keep off. Oh, so lazima waskize the two sides. Yeah. Yeah, and today you're talking about youth and purpose. Mm -hmm. uh, Sharon. Mm -hmm. Purpose in a good but before you even we dive into the purpose, uh, what is purpose? You can make a janana watch palin bani, make a canisani, maybe two, three years. A jay get in purpose. What is purpose? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, purpose is a, is a way in a, in a could drive to your destiny, am I to your future? And uh, for you to not have to not have a purpose, you may end up in a life which is miserable, because many of the many of the time when we we look when to not to not when you may fail, let's say you may fail in life, you when you understand purpose how while they were young, and here they were like, uh, ah, I'm still young, no, I need to take my time, don't kujeku. So mm. to understand my purpose, mm. and yet when I did the yeah. Yvonne, you pray like the way you're praying for your dream to come through. Mm -hmm. You pray the same way to get his or her purpose. Eh, someone can pray for for purpose mm -hmm. because uh, God nearly to create, mm -hmm. 
God there yeah, and to pay a purpose. God knows the reason why. The Bible says in Jeremiah 1.1 1, 1, that I knew you before you were formed. And before you were born, I had set you apart. Mm -hmm. You see? That's a God. When you create, he knew what you need, you, you have to be. Yeah. He knew what you should be. And a job purpose. So, ukiomba, you can as well pray for God to enlighten your path. For God to make your purpose more clear to you. Because as youths, sana sana while we are growing up, ni ngumu sana kujua kenyo ntahu kwa kwa hii life, kenyo ntahu kufanya. It's so unclear. But God and I is a make it clear. Wow, na tumekuwa na patterns. Kwa bae unenda shule, unamaliza, you need to have that maybe seven figure salary, and then you have a big house. You have a family, and then the end of the day, is it that whatever you may mention, what is that a purpose? You can want to pale and wash pale in money, maybe a a boy. Then I na say, okay, my purpose is okay. Wacha ni pate gari, zuri ni kumaza shule, ni pate marriage poa, ni pate that big house, and then ni pate ni kwa na salary zuri. Is that really a purpose? Ah, me I'll say this according to my mind. Ah, purpose ni le kitu nye ita kushikilia even after umesha ya pata yo gari. Because I'm driven to, uh, as in kuna vile, my mind is driving me to a certain dream. Kwa mfano, I want to be like a motiv motivational speaker. And now to be a motivational speaker, I need to work on it. Maybe through that motivation, being a motivational speaker, it and later, what will bring me the cars and the building. But Sharon, yes. talking about motivation speakers, yeah. but when you want to say how you want to get a video and how you go through. Okay, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let will say this. Yes, they might be speaking some, some things that you want to hear, but through that they are gaining. Yeah. You know that. Now, you to get it, but apart from that, they are earning. No, no. But the, the basic thing is to take in the things which can work for you. It's not the things that you feel that, ah, I want to get it and yet it, it looks like it work for them. You want to to know what is what I want and what will work for me. Yes. Okay, now you're talking about youth and purpose. Mm -hmm. And then, Sisi wote to Kokanisani. Maybe even uh, Kijana Mbana Taza Masai Zina Yuko Kanisani. And as a realized purpose, Yaki, Pali Kanisani Kivibi. Mm. Well, uh, for purpose, like it is true, I think it is true to say that without purpose then there is nothing to fulfill. Mm. So it is very important that you find your purpose. Uh, you may start just by asking yourself some questions like who are you, uh, where do you belong, or what makes you fulfilled, what is it that when you do it you feel fulfilled. Mm. Uh, as you ask yourself such questions, unaji search. You search within you. You find, uh, you know, you, you you just look for something. Ama you can just maybe here around the church. Ama around the place where you think your your purpose is, because kuna watu enye their purpose is in working and satisfying the work. Ama religion and spirituality with kaizo. So in this case, in the church. Maybe you can hear, like Sharon is my friend. I can hear what Sharon is telling me, what Sharon is complimenting me about, what Sharon thinks I'm good at. You understand? With Kaizo. You know, also associating with people because uh, one of the things that causes purpose crisis ni isolation. So you do not know what you can do. What is what you can do when you do not associate with yourself with people? Okay, but in the same line, Yvonne, mm -hmm. uh, maybe I realize Papa Siango maybe ni ku, kufunga hizo vyombo za church. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, kuna wale, kuna wale mbaya na realize Papa Siyake mwanze ni kumekisho sure mic ziko, ziko vizuri, lakini mm -hmm. hana uwezo wa kuimba. Mm -hmm. And then kuna swala la competition. Mm -hmm. How do you handle yourself now that you have a purpose and then there is a competition? Pale, maybe katika mazingira mbawe kondani. Mm -hmm. yeah, how do you handle yourself? Uh, competition, kitu moja ina, ina cost competition ni ni alikisahili <laughs> sema tu vile iko ni the wrong motives wrong motive. eh, okay enda kufanya what you you're going to do so that you may be seen ama the watu waone venye unajua kushika microphone mm -hmm. you know is one of those the cause competition jealousy 
utter hatred in the church. Sasa, just have the right motive in your heart. Jua kama unataka kufanya hizo vitu za technical ama praise and worship or whatever it is, do it with the right motive. Fanya ukitaka ku glorify God in it. God ju in the end it's God who want to give the glory. Mm. There's a friend of mine who loves to say that heaven is the ultimate goal. Si hakuna vitu zingine yenye tunataka hapa duniani. So just have the right motive in your heart and ask it from God. Also listen to what God is saying. Wow. <laughs> have the right motive na itakuwa vizuri sana. Acha ni kuja kwa Sharon tukimalizia. Kuna vile mzazi ujusi wote tumepitia education system. Nakumbuka mm. tukipeleka pale shuleni, was it form 1? Yeah, form 1 kuna box, mattress yeah. and all other stuffs. Mm. And then mzazi anakuambia anakupatia kwanza mwa Kenya vile unafaa uji, uji handle. Yeah. <laughs> so is that really a, a purpose because most of the time kuna vijana wana get okay. Mimi nilifata nilifata this land mm. na najipata nina live what yenye mimi sikuwa nataka ku mm. At the end of the day mm. miaka imeenda shughuli mm. zimeenda mm. uh, then anapata anajipata kwa hiyo point ya regret. Mm. So is that really a purpose for kijana kufata whatever mzazi anamwambia because the end of the day yeah maybe that is what mzazi anaona kwake mm. and then yeah ako na purpose yake mm. ako na role zake. Mm. Uh, how do that kijana now handle the two? Okay. Uh, first, uh, say this, wakati yu mzeze alikuwa nakupeleka shule, it was just making a way for you. But now wakati unengia shule, you love to learn. And even you have your own mind. And I'll say this, a purpose is whereby you love to uh, cultivate what you love. For example, I, I love music. And now I love to I need to search more about music because that is what I love doing. Because uh, uh, chasing with your purpose, you need to be comfortable with it. You need to be uh, in a uh, point where you can any una like una push, una push till it comes to what you want it to be. So uh, that I cannot say that you have to follow what your parents are driving you, though you cannot be disobedient. But kuna vile uneza balance. Mm -hmm. Kuna vile, mimi nataka hii, my parents want this. So, it's up to you to use your wisdom and pray to God and tell he, tell God that, God, me, I want this and my parents want this. God will come through for it. And I will prepare wisdom how to handle it. Uh, because he tells us that, ask and he shall give it unto you. If you will depend on God, he will still direct you and he will show, in the, show you the way out of struggle. Yeah. So unasema, the way you are to talent without work, mm -hmm. then you will. So unasema, purpose mm -hmm. uh, without story of God, mm -hmm. it work. can't work. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wacha kwa incredible youth. Mm -hmm. Incredible youth ni kina nani? Naona jishubilisha na nini? <laughs> Tukimadizia, <laughs> Ivon. Well, the incredible youth are... Uh, we represent the youth at the Holy Gate Church of Heaven mm -hmm. here in Bungoma. Mm -hmm. uh, we mostly handle issues on uh, issues affecting the youth, either in career, economically, education-wise, and most importantly to us, relationship-wise. Mm -hmm. Yes, we talk about these things. Uh, we do invite even guests mm -hmm. to handle these things affecting the youth. Mm -hmm so that we may help the youth out here because like us there are youth when they need mental care emotional care you see so, so yeah that's basically what we are all about wow as you want to make one about uh, incredible youth it's just because of you, the youths mm -hmm. uh, sharon enough okay the team Mm -hmm. and uh, we mwenye personal mm -hmm. umeza ku achieve whatever even na ongele hapa ama bado kidogo mko 50 yeah. ama 80% ama 30 mm -hmm. mm -hmm. all right uh, the main thing is to reach out to people mm -hmm. and i'm believing that to who watch us mm -hmm. They, they are being transformed. They are not the same way wakati wako wameanza kutu watch. No? Yeah. And we are trusting God even to to lift us to another level. We cannot say that we have achieved a lot. We are we, we are still yet to achieve a lot. But for the two years we have been in incredible youth, we believe that to those who watch us, they are being transformed and they are being helped in one way or another. Yes. Yvonne, yes. what are the lessons that we learned from uh, incredible youth? comparing that uh, ile time wako kwa part of the team mm -hmm. and now you're part of the team well i have learned to read i have learned that 
knowledge is seeked and bila kutafuta knowledge waliwezi ipata and i've also learned that uh, ignorance is very expensive yes so i have to equip myself i have to read i have to listen to to men of god i have even to listen to more music yes and i have to 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 behave in the right way because as paul says that we are like letters to to people you see so it's incredible ime imenifunza hiyo sana because kuna mtu anaona hope ako kwa incredible then hope ndio ana behave hivi then hope ndio atakuja kuniambia jesus is lord sasa i have just to behave in the right way so that someone may not miss heaven because of me Sharon, yes. do, uh, in, in that ka month that we are going to be in the program, mm -hmm. what is that ka moment that you know, hey, nyewe, this mm -hmm. one, ina hili kwa vizuri sana, mm -hmm. and then to kona kujia kumilisha na Yvonne, mm -hmm. uh, okay, maybe what is that episode that will stand out? Yeah, so to answer now, Sharon, mm -hmm. what is that moment that you're like, wow, this one I'll never forget about it? Hey. Yes, uh, there's uh, one moment we were talking of tulikuwa um, tunaongelea about prayer and fasting. Mm -hmm. And now you know kama kama uh, a Christian youth, you need to give people what you think the Bible what the Bible is talking of, you know. And hiyo wakati we were we were like tumeanda vizuri na tuko set to go to pour out our content. Then it came a point where by now to kakwa na audience and the audience were Quite pastors <laughs> and and people who have gone ahead of us more yeah. and we were like guy sasa to tambia nini how to sasa to kakwa test and we were like hey God help us so it was very it was a funny moment and it really pushed us to to be confidence and to have more knowledge. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Mm -hmm. Maybe if you know what is mm -hmm. that episode um, by, uh, hey, nyewe, you can you can remember and uh, not you personally, not mm -hmm. you yako, but mm -hmm. even the, the the viewers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, what is that kind of episode mm -hmm. that is? That should be our second anniversary mm -hmm. when we are celebrating our second anniversary. There is something our dad, uh Pastor Alex Luamba talked about. Mm -hmm. He was our guest. Mm -hmm. And um, there was this question on marriage and divorce. Mm -hmm. And he told us that uh, it is very illegal to, to divorce, you see. And in this current generation, us as youths, mm -hmm. uh, being that what we sana about mental health, nini nini, wezi kana mtu mwenye, anakufanya, unajua unakuwa na depression. So it's quite a mindset, uko nje, that akinichezea we just divorce. But now the Bible is against divorce. Yeah which even kitu tumejieke hata huku it's very easy to break even relationships mm -hmm. so we think the same way ni easy to break marriages and he told us hata to make it worse that being uki divorce and uh, your ex husband or wife is still alive it is also very illegal to get married to another mm -hmm. no no mm -hmm. yeah so so you, it's only one touch yes so uh, while choosing a life partner it's very important and the moment you make those vows at the altar the moment you decide that it is this person that's why they say marriage is a covenant mm -hmm. there is no getting out of it like that mm -hmm. mm. wow thank you so much uh, but for me what kitu ambayo nilisimama out for that uh, episode mm -hmm. ni kwa watch mm -hmm. and especially the interview with the man of god yeah, yeah is that ali survive na 10k Jijikula Nairobi. So uh, maybe to kianza na share mm -hmm. social media. What are you going to do? Personally, mm -hmm. and then the church and the team of incredible youths. Mm -hmm. um, I'm Sharon. I'm an ajitanga shares kwa Facebook, kwa Instagram, yes, or na kwa Twitter. And uh, church to ko Holy Gate of Heaven Ministry. That is Facebook. Uh, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Yvonne, show you how to personally. What are you connect to now? You can find me in all the platforms that you can imagine. I'm Yvonne Hope Akolo. Everywhere. Okay. Uh, then our website for the Holy Gate of Heaven is www.hhmbungoma.org. Then uh, we have in the incredible youth show on wednesday 
every night uh, from 10 p.m. It goes for one hour. Yes. Wow. Wow. Thank you so much for coming through. Um, kifika kanisani kule and then the entire team. Kina Laura, Stacy Lenzi, wow. Anaitwa nani? Richie. Uh, Richie, yeah, Richie. Mm -hmm. And then uh, I'm so excited about the technical part. Uh, but I'm uh, going to take the show. Uh, ah. the, the amazing team. Mm -hmm. Of course, salamu. I'm going to take a visit. Sunday, Sana Mutazamaji for keeping in touch with us. Uh, make sure that you uh, were tuned in until Kufika Sasa Ivy. We're just diving into a uh, commercial break, Dogo, Ama Mziki. And then remember, na kujana the third hour whereby to go on a latest gospel list. Latest gospel list in Mziki Mbaz metoka from Monday to, you know, to Saturday. And then to go on a Msani Mbaz to go on a Kujawa Ivy. Make sure that you share Mziki work in a part of it the story etakuwa vizuri sana so sahira na kama uko kwa tayari acha tuingie kwenye muziki kidogo and then ndakuwa nakuja na the third hour I'll see you